All right, friends. Question number five B. A question on interest rate swap. Let's do this together. There are two companies, IB and Zaki. So they have given the floating rate. They have also given the fixed rate. So friends, it's a question on interest rate swap where you have three steps: interest rate differential, gain of each party, and then finally you will have swap. So I'll start with working note number one. Interest rate differential and gain of each party. Particulars: fixed, floating. So here, first fellow is IB. Second fellow is Zaki. IB fixed is running out to be two percent. 2.25 percent differential is 0.25 percentage. Here it is B plus 0.5 for IB and other one is B plus 2.5. Difference is 2 percent. Net differential is how much? 1.75 percent. Now how are they going to split this? Let us go and check. All right. So they have said Zaki wishes to borrow. Rupee loan at a floating rate and wishes to borrow at fixed rate. So Zaki wishes to borrow rupee loan at a floating rate. Am I right? So tell me, how does a floating rate work? Zaki wants to go for floating, whereas IB wants to go for what? Fixed. What does it mean? What does it mean? It means that he is preferring. Currently, he is paying floating. He wants to move into fixed. Zaki is currently paying fixed, and he wants to move into floating. Are you clear with this part, friends? So now, if I look at this, there is an arrangement of twenty-five basis points also. There is an arrangement of twenty-five basis points also. So what I'll do is I'll put point two five percent over here, and the remaining is given equally. So how much is one point seven five minus point two five? One point five. That will go as point seven five percent here. And 0.75 percent over here. This is how they are going to split the whole thing. Okay, just read through it, friends. All right, friends. Are you all done writing this? Can I go to the next part now? All right. So once we do this, I will first solve it in a diagrammatic manner. All right. Here, who is the strong party? I think IB is able to get a lower interest rate, so IB is the strong party. I'll draw a picture like this. You have IB here. You will have Zaki over here. Zaki's bank. IB's bank. So they have told over here, Zaki wishes to borrow rupee loan at a floating rate. So currently he is paying fixed. So he is paying how much over here? Two point two five. Am I right? If he is paying currently two point two five, other fellow is paying B plus point five. Now they are going to swap their loan. So now who is the strong party over here? IB is a strong party. So IB will tell to Zaki. Pay me B plus point five. He will receive B plus point five. He will say, "Pay me my share of profit." What is the IB's share of profit? Point seven five. And in the end, he will pay only his own fixed rate. What is his own fixed rate? That turns out to be two percentage. So when you look at the net cash transaction that is happening over here, receive B plus point five. Pay set off. Pay to receive point seven five net effect will be he is paying paying only how much one point two five. Had he gone to his own bank, how much interest he would have paid over there? Let's just check. Had he gone to his own bank, he would have paid an interest rate of how much percentage? Two percentage. So what is the gain of this fellow that he will get over here now? Do you get a gain of point seven five percentage? 
Now let us check Zaki's step. What will Zaki do? He will pay B plus 0.5. He will also pay 0.75%. He will receive 2%. Apart from this, he will also pay a commission of 0.25% to whom? To the intermediary. Now let us check this fellow's transactions. He paid minus 2.25, received 2. Net effect is minus 0.25. Minus 0.25 plus 0.75 minus 1. Minus 1 and 0.25 minus 1.25. Minus 1.25 and 0.5. 1.75. He will end up paying B plus 1.75%. Had he gone to his own back, how much would he have paid? <clears throat> he would have paid B plus 2.5%. So now tell me what is the gain of this fellow also? This fellow's gain is also going to be exactly how much? 0.75 percentage. This diagram will help you with the whole thing. If you want to put it in stepwise manner, now we can write down step by step. So I'll write down a heading over here. Steps of IB. Point number A. Pay. B plus 0.5 to your own bank. My regular students, you, we have already done the same question earlier. Okay. Only the name is different. From Zaki, after that what? Receive 0.75 from Zaki. After that what will come? Pay. 2% to Zaki. So what is the net cash flow that comes over here? 1.25. Okay. And gain will be 2 minus 1.25. That is 0.75 percentage. What about the steps of Zaki? Point number A. He will pay B plus. <coughs> sorry, not B plus. He will pay. 2.25% to his own bank followed by pay B plus 0.5 to IB then what pay 0.75 to IB and 0.25 to bank for commission purpose receive 2% from IB his net transaction will turn out to be how much? B plus 1.75. His gain will also be 0.75 percentage. Friends, I believe you are clear with this part also. If you are clear with this, we are done with this question also.